You're listening to WCW Live Music today from Studio B, The River Wireless. Nice, huh? That song's called Bath Salt. Thank you. You, uh, Dennis likes that. Yeah, four (laughs) people in the room. Let's do this. Let's go around the room and uh, you guys can introduce yourselves and talk about what instruments you're playing because there's the more I look, the more I see, and I can't wait to hear what the drummer's going to tell us about. uh, (laughs) (laughs) It's It's like a carnival behind me. Um, But yeah, who's in the band? Uh, uh, I'm Ryan, and um, I'm playing guitar and doing some singing. And then uh, the first song I was playing bass and then playing a, a low tom drum, doing some rim rim clicks on and that. <laughs> and, and, and a turkey feather, too. And a, and a turkey feather, yeah. yeah. Which adds Always. something. Yeah, it's the yeah. loudest one. <laughs> <laughs> it just gobbles in the background. Um, I'm Hallie Anderson. I'm playing the violin. And uh, I played some drum clicks, rim clicks on the last song, Shaker, and singing. Daniel Sheeran, I uh, play bass mainly, play some guitar, play this harmonium over here and some banjo. I think that's about it for hey. this. <laughs> it, it, he's busy though. I'm, I'm telling, I'm watching Daniel. There's a lot going on. The, the harmonium is always a fascinating instrument to me. Yeah, yeah. it's a cool thing. I love it. Do you, yeah. do you study? Like, what, what do you do to become a harmonium player? Uh, you just buy a harmonium just or, or borrow one. <laughs> borrow one. <Yeah. laughs> cool. That's what you it's did. It's simple. <laughs> so, so uh, honestly, visually, and, and by the way, I mean, do you strive for this visual component? Because the band, it really is fun to watch you guys. Is, is that uh, just happened? Or? No, that just happened. You, we you just only have so many hands, so yeah. it becomes a process. We kept throwing stuff on Daniel, mostly. Yeah, I see I tried that. to. I used to play electric guitar a little bit, and then I just... Slowly phase that out. Yeah, like, Hallie used to have two violins. I used to have two just violins just, uh, and a keyboard. Playing some more instruments over there. Yeah. <laughs> when Dan joined the band, he was so excited because all he had to do was plug in his bass. Uh, that but now the, day, he's, huh? the stage is tilted really because there's musician. so much stuff on the, his end. The next time y'all come, no one will be playing any instruments except for... Daniel will yeah. play the whole thing. <laughs> be the band. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make but, turkey noises. But, well, there's a, there's the carnival element here. But then I go behind me. To, behind <laughs> me as I'm set up in Studio B is, is the drums. One of the greatest bicycle wheel percussionists. <laughs> <laughs> I wish people Top could 10, see this. Yeah, Top yeah. 10 United States. Yeah, how do you learn that, Alex? Do you study? Hey, can Alex, does he have a mic, Dennis? I don't, I don't think I do, but... He, the drummer, we never give him a mic. If, if you lean down into that drum mic, then you have yeah. hollow back. Okay. Uh, I get a lot of people talking to me about the bicycle on that show, and I always just say it was, it was just out of necessity. It's something I, I had heard in my head that I wanted to, to play in a song, and that's why, that's why I, I uh, put it on there. But I, I, I really seriously want to start or attempt to tune it. <laughs> if, you, if you use a spoke wrench, well, you can tighten and you know tighten the, the bunch of different tensions and then. So, so let me just explain if you've got a bike wheel mounted on, a, I guess, a cymbal stand, and it's horizontal, and you spin it, and you drag your sticks over it, and you're getting this cool percussive effect. Yeah. Of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, you know, I was looking. I think it's out of true, and I was saying you need to adjust the spokes, so maybe that's by design, huh? That's all. No, I mean, no, it's just from being on the road too long. Okay. And, uh, yeah. It's being tossed in and out of the van. The bike wheel doesn't see much it's love. It's a road bike. <laughs> it's, a case, it's a road bike. Nobody really, you know, it's, it's, it's the least of our worries as far as things get maintained. The wheel comes last, huh? You got other effects over there. You were hitting on a banjo when I came in. You had a banjo sitting on the snare, I think. Yeah, yeah. I played a, uh, that song, we, again, it was just something that we, I wasn't trying to play the banjo. I just was messing around one day, and I started, I realized that if you hit the different sections of this banjo, it, they have different tones. Right. So the, the, the string, I don't know, string instrument, <laughs> the way that the strings connect, the bridge. Uh, the bridge. Left, the bridge, thank you, uh, has, a, has a sound, and then obviously the actual banjo drum is. Sure. Hit different parts and it has a, it has different kinds of sounds, uh, and it just worked out really well for that song. I was actually struggling really hard to mm-hmm. to finish and find the right uh, sound for it. And when, when I pulled out the banjo and showed them what I had come up with, they were like, "You shouldn't have just used the music for this. You know, get this idea." So that that so banjo is from Smiley's Flea Market. I, I was, <laughs> was going to say, it looked, for everyone out there, <laughs> it looked it looked like it has a story behind it. <laughs> Still got one string on it. Is that by design, or is that just the string uh, that didn't break? It's the same <laughs> string that came on it. It's the only banjo that would let me hit. Seventeen years ago. <laughs> okay, gotcha. This is the one finger banjo. Right. <laughs> and and Daniel will have one next week, right? When he'll be. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but but it really, I, I love the sound and the texture. But it, you know, for all of the, it looks cool, and there's a lot of instruments. But but Dennis said something like there's only four people, but. It's a huge sound you guys get. How, how long did that take to work that out and to, <laughs> you know? 
Is that slowly evolving, or did you have that in your head? I think, if anything, we're trying to keep it toned down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're always trying to keep things uh, not too good. Because it's, yeah. it's, I don't know, I can't speak for everybody, but I just know it's, it's a tendency to uh, just drive it home all the time and sometimes it slips, but it's, it's never been that difficult for me. Yeah. I, I, I like that um, it's mainly 90% acoustic mm. and that it doesn't ever, it, it could get bombastic and... Mm-hmm. You know, there's. I, I like the understatement of it. Yeah, yeah. I think I. I don't, I don't <laughs> think it's a conscious. I mean, I really enjoy playing acoustic guitar, and I've tried to play electric <laughs> instruments, and just just can't do it. One <laughs> just doesn't take with me quite as well. But yeah. um, personality. But I don't. It's definitely not a choice. Like we just. It's just what we all feel comfortable playing. Mm-hmm. But it is fun to arrange, you know, bigger stuff on mostly acoustic besides the bass that Dan's playing but we didn't get to another summit I was wondering how did the arrangements are they a long slow process or do you <laughs> yeah yes oh yeah arduous Short answers, yes. tedious yeah we start it starts with a, a song usually or a, at least a little part of a song from right. somebody and then expands from there and usually they're about twice as long as they are right now mm-hmm. and then, <laughs> then we try to cut them back so it's a, a whittling process yeah, yeah. start with a big block and yeah, yeah. Cool. So the band is called River Wireless. Yeah, web address, riverwireless.com. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. We got a dot com. <laughs> there you go. It's the last one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Sorry, uh, everybody. The show is tomorrow night at the Mothlight in Asheville. I know y'all are heading down to South by Southwest in a couple of weeks, something mm-hmm. like that. That'll yeah. be fun. Yeah. 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 Going on a tour with a band called Horse Feathers after right. that, too. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, excited yeah. to be down there. Nice. Yeah. Except for we're going to miss some pretty moments in Asheville. Yeah. Right as it starts every year, as soon as the buds start popping up, then we you leave. Have to leave. Yeah, right? and Beautiful I, in Asheville yeah. now. See you later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we tour in the winter, too, in the snow. We, we go up north right. in January, which is, I don't know why we do it Second every year. Second year in a row. Yeah. We made it to Michigan yeah. in January. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. So the River Wireless again playing live today in Studio B. And uh, their song's off the brand new self-titled EP. It's been out, what, a couple months? Something mm-hmm. like a week. January 20th. Yeah, so a month and a half. 